Hey guys, Asia here, and today on Chop the Pine Belt, you'll be getting an inside look of the WDAM7 Studio. Let's go. So I'm here in the studio with Emily, who's the news director here at WDAM. Emily, I hear that this is only about one year old, is that correct? Yeah, that's absolutely right. So okay. we launched our new set, and a lot of you at home may remember, um, in January of 2023, and uh, it replaced a set that we had in place for about 12 years, Asia. Oh, wow. So it was time for I an upgrade, <laughs> right? For a while. Yeah. Absolutely. So with the new design and the new upgrades, uh, we really ripped out everything in the studio, okay. and it was down to the bare bones. And so we added lights, monitors, color, mm. right, and high tech equipment okay. to really share the news, weather, and sports with WDAM viewers. Okay. So one of the big things that people always notice, it's bright in the studio. It is, the lighting is great. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, great, yeah. and that's important, right? Mm -hmm. So no matter what shade of melanin we have, right, uh -huh. we wanna look good on TV. Love it. Because we know if we don't, that's a distraction for viewers. Mm -hmm. So now they're gonna be looking at us not looking appropriately or looking right. just right. Picking like, oh, I can see, that's not right, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So we have more than 75 LED lights. Okay. So it doesn't matter if Carrie Leggett Brown is anchoring the news or mm -hmm. Michael Clark, uh, everyone's gonna look really great in this space. Love that. Now, how long um, did the renovations take and where were y'all when that was going on? Absolutely. So the, the process of planning it was much longer, so okay. almost a year to plan. Oh, wow. Right. And came with a hefty price tag, but it was okay. well worth it. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so we moved out of the studio about 10 days before Thanksgiving of 2022. Okay. And so it took about about two months to get everything from start to finish ready for air. And then we had to rehearse with our new cameras and our new gotcha. camera shots too. Love that. Now I want y'all to get just the inside scoop of what I'm seeing. Can you kind of just walk us through the studio and kind of show the people what they might not see, you know, on TV? Absolutely. So behind the scenes is really important. So you'll see monitor walls everywhere. This is our main news desk where we share the news and deliver the news. Um, and then one thing if we want to turn the camera around this is a perspective um, that our anchors so whether it's Brandy McGill or Ellie Davis in the mornings or Carrie and Michael in the evenings this is what they see and it's a couple of different things and I'll walk over here to, to point some things out Asia at the top of every camera is the actual camera itself and it also has a number that coincides with that camera one thing you'll notice that's different from big network television, mm -hmm. we don't really have um, camera operators. So they're all robotic. Oh, wow. Right. New age. New <laughs> age, right? And so a robotic camera is on top of every um, two uh, video monitors here. Okay. The bottom one will show the anchor what they are seeing from the news desk. Okay. This top one is the teleprompter. So these are words to stories that our reporters have gone out into the Pine Belt community. Mm -hmm. They've written those words and that's what our anchors read to share the news. Wow, see, I used to think they were just kind of like free flowing right. um, until I realized from a TikTok <laughs> that they actually, you know, just read it off. So that's really cool. Yeah, because accuracy matters, right, in news. Yeah. And so you want to, you know, stick to the facts so we mm -hmm. get it get it correct. Um, so a lot going on, but there's a lot of cameras. Yeah. Um, we have a total of about nine cameras um, throughout the whole double studio here. Mm -hmm. um, and then one thing with the teleprompter, one thing people may not know, and we'll go over to the news desk, um, our anchors actually control the teleprompter. So if there's a two anchor, say if you and I were anchoring the news, yeah. um, okay. we would choose, Asia, do you want to run teleprompter for the six o'clock news? And yeah. you would say, sure. And so it looks like a gas pedal almost. This would stay on the floor. And the harder you press the big pedal, the faster the words go. So you don't want to press it too fast unless you're a speed reader. Um, so this is very helpful of keeping a good pace that you can read at. You can also stop it right. if you want to clarify something or maybe you get a tickle in your throat because we know those happen too. Yeah. So they're controlling it for the other person as well when they yes, read. Okay, absolutely. cool. I never knew that. Yeah. But now the only talent that doesn't need teleprompter weather. 
Everything is up here. They okay. ad lib everything. So they match graphics to tell their weather story. And they're here, we call it the weather pod, but it's a little weather desk, right? Yeah. And so here they're controlling the graphics um, and the weather information that they've done the math to, right? Because they're okay. super smart scientists wow. to find out what the temperature, humidity, rain chances. Yeah. And so they build their graphics. They can present from here or as all the kids like to see the green screen over here. So the green screen for a lot of people who may be familiar with the Harry Potter movie series, right? Yeah. When they have the cloak of invisibility, mm -hmm. that's how the green screen works, right? So anything this color green in video production, you're able to overlay graphics onto it. So if Patrick Bigby, here comes step on the okay. screen with us, Asia. If Patrick Bigby is given the weather, uh -huh. There's nothing behind him. So he's just pointing he's and it's not, pointing, <laughs> oh, wow, right? okay. All, he sees the graphics on the monitor in front of him okay. and then the monitors on the side of him. Gotcha. Obviously we have maps, they don't need it anymore. We have a very experienced weather team so they know where all the counties are. But it's just that good reminder when you're pointing right. to literally sort of nothing behind you. Yes, I never knew that, that's super cool. So they're looking at the monitor and pointing, that's skill, that takes skill. Yes. Also, our, our studio, we have a very large studio, but we have to, when we designed it, we needed some space savers, okay. right? Yeah. So one thing you'll see at midday and sunrise, you'll see maybe Brandy McGill or Carrie Leggett Brown do interviews, right? And usually the interviews are done on this large monitor wall. Okay. And so what we do to save space, we actually have a platform where we have our chairs and the platform has rollers on it uh -huh. and also locks. And so we can roll it into place, change the graphics or video behind them, uh -huh. lock it in place. They can get on the platform to do an interview. So talk about a community event or something that um, the viewers need to know about. Love that. And these monitors are really, really big. Now, what all can you know, be projected on these monitors? Absolutely. So we can put video, radar, sky cams, graphics, photos, live shots. We put, you can think of it, we can put it in there. Love that. And you mentioned um, community events. So if someone has something going on, they can be on the news and tell about their event? Absolutely. So we look for, you know, legitimate group organizations, uh, government, municipality events uh, to showcase to our viewers. Um, so they can contact us at the station. All the contact information is on the website. They can send us an email make a phone call and we'll get them set up. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, remember that now. Emily, thank you so much for having me today and for giving me and the viewers this behind the scenes kind of inside scoop of what they or I don't get to see when I watch WDAM 7 News. I thank you so much, appreciate it. You're welcome.